eight weeks, you're going to get what you want and be confident and feel good. That's it. And it's going to take you numerous years to get to where somebody else could go in one single year if they just stayed the course. Chest up, shoulders back. Welcome to Revival Fitness, everybody. Your home for gains and brains. And today we're going to talk about something that I used to deal with myself, and I'm sure a lot of you guys have dealt with this. You might be dealing with it now. It might be sort of a cycle or trap that you're sort of stuck in endlessly, and then you wonder why you're not getting the results that you want. You're going to see now, especially during the holidays, as people are getting into the gym, there's going to be all new waves. People are going to be putting out a bunch of stuff online. You're going to see so many things that look like this. You're going to see a new program or something along those lines. And you're commonly going to see attached to it or in the title itself. This is a X week program. And then you just fill in the blank. Four weeks, six week, eight week, 12 week, 16 week, right? And this isn't to say that the program itself is good or bad because there are very good and very bad programs of all types, no matter how many days a week per se that they are. And looking at this from the other side, as somebody who is now an experienced lifter and has made noticeable progress over the past number of years, it's sort of odd to think about because it seems so intuitive from this side of the fence. But for a lot of people who are newer to the gym, you know what I mean? They see things and they sort of take everything at face value. And I think that's what really throws them off. So I remember this myself. Whenever I was back in college, newer to the gym space, you realize one day like, hey, I guess I need something to do in the gym. I need a plan or a program. I need some form of outline that's going to give me guidance on my muscle building journey. But you're going to search up something along the lines of muscle building workout, workout plan for mass, or at least we used to. Oh no. Hello, yes, actually it's me, it's PubMed Ned. I believe you have misspoken there. What you should tell the audience to do is search for the following. Evidence research-based program to optimize myofibular hypertrophy. Something that is broken down into the micro, the meso, and the macro cycle. We would like to see that it has been cross-referenced by at least two to three meta-analyses. Ideally five to six. Oh my god, that guy is so annoying. I will say though, one thing he got right there in his scientific mumbo-jumbo was whenever he was talking about the micro-meso-macro cycles. Now, for those of you guys that don't know, those are basically just fancy science terms for blocks of training, right? Mesocycle is probably a month up to two months. Microcycle is usually a week, I believe they define it. Then macrocycle is long-term, maybe up to a year in some cases. But this is what I'm talking about whenever I say these X number of week programs, guys. Because oftentimes whenever you see these things, the week that they show you, it's not like you're going to just get all the benefits of the program in that amount of time. I think that's the biggest judgment error that people make when it comes to this. And it could simply be marketed in that misleading fashion, like just do this plan for eight weeks and you're going to shred all this fat or build, who knows what they're going to say, build eight pounds of solid mass in eight weeks or something like that. Even if you're a total beginner, that's not going to happen, building one single pound of muscle a week. But I think a lot of the time whenever you see programs like this, even if the article you read or the video you watch doesn't explicitly say it, they're intending you to run these programs sort of in those blocks, so to speak. So say, for example, you find a program that is six weeks long. Six weeks to shred, six weeks to size, six weeks to sex, whatever the hell they're going to market it as, right? Whenever you see something like that, a lot of beginners are going to see that and say, oh, well, after six weeks, I get what I want. And that is not going to be the case. What that six weeks usually is going to entail is the fact that after the six weeks of that block, per se, you could call it the mesocycle, after that six weeks, you're going to repeat the entire thing. Oftentimes, you're going to uh, maybe add some weight to your percentage of one rep max. After the six weeks, you might vary some things up in terms of exercise selection or rotate movements through. But the point is, you're going to make some level of change. Even if it's as simple as adding weight to your perceived lifts, 
that's what you're going to be doing after the six weeks. And to be fair, a lot of the times the people who are writing or promoting or the websites that are posting these type of week-long programs, a lot of the time they won't even specifically say to do this. If you're getting marketed to that way with some egregious claim or something, do this to whoever you found that from. There are going to be certain programs for strength mainly, I would say. Maybe like a 12-week so-called peaking program to get your lifts at maximum capacity. Perhaps it's even shorter than that in some cases. But for general training, the general person has no use to just do a program for one, two, or three months and then just trash it and do a new one. So let's look at this example. I just searched up eight week program on my browser and this came up. On this website, it says transform your body with this ultimate eight week workout plan. Let's see how this reads. In this ultimate eight week workout plan, we show you how to cut fat, crush your fitness goals to completely transform your body. The next two months are all about metabolism, blasting strength training, stamina building, interval training, and complete physique transformation. These are the tools the pro athletes use. Oh my God. And now they're yours. We'll see. Goal, fat loss, muscular fitness. This isn't your first rodeo. You've been here before. That's redundant. With three fat shredding workouts, you can make drastic changes to your physique. The plan is split in two phases, weeks one to four and five to eight. The program is built around core movement patterns. Push exercise, pull exercise, squat, and deadlift. Doesn't sound too bad to me. There are literally millions of exercise variations to choose from. <laughs> I don't know about literally millions, but there's a lot, yeah. Here's the overview. Monday, strength workout and hit. Wednesday, strength workout. Friday, strength workout and hit. So, okay, so it's going like the typical novice ABA, BAB style. Barbell squat, pull-ups, lying leg curl, overhead press, upright row, flat bench press. Uh, rest time, one to three minutes. Do not rest one minute in between any of these, but especially the big stuff like squats. I mean, dear God. Workout B, incline bench, Romanian deadlift, lateral raise. Then I like how you do the lateral raise before the leg press. Weighted dips, bent over barbell row. Okay, so the exercise order is kind of goofy here, but based on what we've seen, this is not surprising. And then we have the hit workout on the rowing machine for 10 minutes, and then the bike for 20 minutes. In phase two, you'll be using the most effective fat burning workout system on the planet. It's called high intensity resistance training. Is it gonna be Mike Menser? H-I-R-T. H-I-R-T is a circuit style workout using strength exercises. It combines cardio and muscle building techniques. Well, those are in opposition to each other inherently. That smash through stored fat while building strength. Okay, they're using all the buzzwords. According to research, it has all these benefits, okay. Week five to eight H-I-R-T workouts. Monday A-B, Wednesday C-A, Friday B-C. Okay, here's the workouts. Dumbbell deadlift, dumbbell overhead press, dumbbell step up, renegade row, alternate dumbbell press, thrusters, mountain climber to push up, medicine ball slams. Uh, so the first two here look like kind of basic commercial gym sort of circuit style stuff. That's totally fine if you're very short on time. You can definitely lose fat and build a little bit of muscle doing that, depending. Workout C, clean and press, Romanian deadlift, back squat, upright row in a circuit style with minimal rest, you're gonna die, buddy. With this eight week workout plan, you've got all you need to make awesome changes. All you need to bring is motivation, drive, and grit. So this right here, what we just looked at, guys, I just decided to pick one example. Notice how there's no long-term scheme. It's just like exercise sets and reps. There's no progression listed. They don't really even tell you to repeat this with any sort of variation after that. Eight weeks, you're gonna get what you want and be confident and feel good. That's it. Maybe I'm the bearer of bad news to a lot of you guys who are newer to the whole fitness gym scene, but that's not how this works. Then what do people do? And like I said, guys, I did this myself. Eight week program, not a whole lot happened. Another eight week program, same thing. Then try a six week, then this week, this. So basically over the span of 52 weeks, you've ended up program hopping between eight to 12 entire different programs. Even if some of them are remotely similar, it's not really consistent on the long term because you're always changing things up. Over the span of 52 weeks, guys, especially if you're new to the gym, 
you should be doing more or less the same exact program, or at least a method, I suppose, for that entire amount of time. I've been in the gym now, guys, for I think six years at this point, and I spent almost the first half of that time doing this type of stuff, program hopping, random stuff, smoking mirrors, woo-woo, all this crap. I'm at the point now, guys, where I basically run, I do myself four-day upper lower, as I talk about in other videos too. I basically do a variation of a four-day upper lower. Maybe I might do like a 5-3-1 style for the main lift, throw that in there too. But I basically do the same template endlessly. If there's certain goals that need to be accommodated for, if you're playing other sports, if you have other things going on in your life, of course you can switch up the days and the volume and all this other stuff. But fundamentally, you need to find something that fits into your schedule and that is tailored to your goals. So if you're just always jumping from this thing to this thing to this thing, and particularly if you're going all over the map in terms of frequency, you go from three day to six day to four day to five day back to three day, then I'm going to try two days a week. You're just going to be hopscotching all over the place and it's going to take you numerous years to get to where somebody else could go in one single year if they just stayed the course on a proven system. But what I'm saying to you guys, especially those of you who are newer to the gym, you need to find something and stick with it. You cannot just expect to get crazy results for this amount of time then do another thing and get crazier results, right? It's not like you can just mountain up crazy after crazy after transformation after transformation. It's a slow and steady thing over the long term. And it might be annoying because you've seen online over and over people making insane changes in the short amount of time and you're being lied to. And it can be hard to kind of mentally overcome that. Oh, but that person did it. They did it. Allegedly they did. But it's probably way longer than they advertised it and they probably use PEDs too. But this has been it for me, guys. Thank you, as always, to the Patreon supporters and the channel members and the loyal subscribers here. As alluded to, hit me up down below if you are sick of spinning your wheels or if you're new to the gym and want to get things sorted out quickly. And check out the links down below for discounts on quality products and services. So thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.